what's the GoPro? Yeah, you worried about uh, somebody killing you? <laughs> Well, this is about to be crazy. I'm going to one of the largest community yard sales in my state. Let's get right into it. Comic books are 50 cents a piece. Okay, cool. I'm just looking for my markers. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Are these just the boxes? Yeah, they're just, just boxes. Yeah, okay. Gifts. Cool. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? If the Funko Market at five, would you do three? Since it is a little damaged. Um, yeah. Sure. Cool. Thanks. There's three for you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So you have both, you have both at five. Would you do seven for everything? Sure. Cool. There's a seven for you. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate it. Good luck on your sale. Thank you, I appreciate that. Sure, thanks. <laughs> no, um, I do yard sale videos and TikToks and and all that stuff. So barbecue for sale. Oh, yeah, barbecue. Yeah. How much? Four hundred bucks. Four hundred. Seven fifty. I'm good. You're here for nickel shit, right? Basically, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a shit ton of clothes. For yeah. Sale. Okay. Cool. Sweet. There's money on gas, so right. Buy something. <laughs> Those pictures, give me a buck piece. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. I'm out of that shit. What the heck? Is this a real slot machine? Yeah. This thing is wicked. <laughs> How much is what's the price on it? So, oh. It's, it's, it's I see it. Bucks. That's, 
guy just wanted to test it and see if it works. And I said, well, I can't test it because I can't check the fuses because the keys broke off in the thing. Oh. So I said, I'm just selling as an ornament for 75 bucks. And he's like, well, I'm not going to buy it if it doesn't work. And I said, I'm yeah. going to sell it for 75 bucks for work. Yeah. And they're 1400 bucks. Yeah. If you know anything about electronics. They yeah. The key out and fix it. I mean, they're, they're expensive. Yeah, this would just take up too much real estate for me but <laughs> but they're cool yeah they're wicked oh huh, sweet <laughs> these were this was marked a dollar but there's two of them so it's a dollar each yeah i assume okay yeah. there's the two thank you thank you How much for the games? Ten. Ten each? Uh -huh. Okay. So I have this and this. What would you guys do for both? That's so crazy. Two dollars? Two dollars for both? Okay. Right, let cool. me have both. There's the two. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Appreciate it. Would you guys do 10 each if I got both of them? Jason, that's his department. <laughs> okay. Just these two. So 20 bucks? Yep, 20. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. There's that. Thanks, appreciate it. Good. How are you doing? Is that a laptop for sale? Yeah. How much is this uh, for? I don't have the cable for it. Okay. I'm like, I don't know, a couple bucks. Do you know if it works? Uh, the last time we uh, had the cable, it did turn on. And, you know, we tried to clear as much stuff off there as we could. Okay. I mean, it's an old one, as you can tell. Yeah. How thick it is. Yeah. <laughs> Would you take five for if I got the calculator, the book with it? Yeah, for and, all of it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that works. Cool five thanks what's up you guys it is the next day after i went to all those yard sales yesterday in the beginning of the video i said i was going to a community yard sale event and there was definitely a lot of yard sales however just going to each one it was kind of tough finding things that i was interested in which honestly you have those days as a reseller or just going to yard sales there's just going to be things that you're not interested in and i kind of realized that like halfway through i'm like dude i'm not finding anything crazy but we did come through and get some decent stuff today so we're going to get right into it okay the first yard sale I went to that day or the first thing I actually got from something from a yard sale was this um, Stormtrooper, I guess, Make-A-Wish edition of a, of a Stormtrooper. It was a GameStop exclusive, as you can see here. Got it for actually $3, I believe. I, I think they had it listed for 5 obviously. Got it for 3 Soul comps are going for like maybe 20, 15 to 20 plus. Um, the box is in pretty rough condition, so I might try to sell it on the low end of 15 and I think we'll do pretty decent with this. You might as well just go over the other Funko's 
from another yard sale. This was actually the yards, the last yard sale I went to of the day. Um, we got a Luke Skywalker Entertainment Earth exclusive limited edition glow in the dark. I think this one is selling for like $18. I and mean, the condition's really, really good. This guy actually had a ton of different Funkos there. Didn't really look at the other ones. I only really looked at the ones that I was interested in. And I've been really enjoying Star Wars recently. So yeah, this is a Luke Skywalker one. I'm tempted to keep this, but I, I don't want to keep it. I, I kind of want to sell it and, and see what I can get for it. So yeah, there's that one. From that same yard set, we did get a Sith Jet Trooper. This one, I believe, is going for a little bit higher. I think like 25 from the sole comps I was seeing, if, if I'm not mistaken. This one is a 2020 Summer Convention Limited Edition exclusive. So I think that's what makes it a little bit more valuable than a Luke Skywalker one from right here. So yeah, not too bad. This one is definitely one I will be selling. One of the yard sales we went to, we got a Bayo Fang portable two-way radio. I didn't actually open this up at first. I saw the radio part. And I'm like, a portable radio who's gonna want that but actually looking at it it is more like a ham radio so comes with it's literally brand new i don't think they ever opened it but yeah literally a ham radio has the buttons here has that part and the antenna and then if you lift it up it has basically the charger for it and just kind of miscellaneous parts for it from the same yard sale we got a bunch of figures they were selling them in bags of just kind of like miscellaneous figures and stuff i only got the ones that uh had characters that i recognized so for instance we did get three of these um same looking batman toys but i looked them up on ebay these are like dc 2012 figures the red and the black ones have sold for around 12 dollars in the past however i think i might lot them up and try to sell them for maybe 25 or 30 just to get them out of the way this one i will include in the lot too this is actually like a little bit older i think this is like 2004 or 2006 but i think i might throw this in that lot anyways and just kind of lot them as just batman figures or whatever power rangers one this one is a little bit of rough condition it might be missing something there um from soul comps they're going for about 11 dollars, but this is again in kind of rough and played condition so i think in the low end i could probably get maybe seven to eight for it and might try to lot this with maybe other future toys that i get and just kind of keep it in its own pile for now uh these right here are uh, mcdonald's batman toys uh from my from what i've heard in the past have female toys don't really do that good um but i think with batman i might be able to sell these for maybe seven dollars if i were to guess maybe a little bit less a little bit more this is miscellaneous ones i honestly did not look up what this guy is this i think this is also another mcdonald's toy might look into this in the future but I, let me know what this is it says cartoon network on the back of it so maybe some sort of weird cartoon network series this i think is a, a teenage mutant ninja turtle i think dude i'm gonna sound so dumb if it isn't but i think this is again another mcdonald's toy this one another mcdonald's toy and i don't know what the guy is and then this is a spider-man like motocross style figure i saw a couple listed on ebay for like four or five dollars and they're not selling so that might be lotted up with future toys that i get from one yard sale we got two of these animal crossing puzzles and i saw that they were brand new saw the original sticker price for 15 dollars and I know for a fact that these are a little bit newer. The saran wrap or the wrap on it does seem kind of like they almost wrapped it again themselves, but I'm not sure why they would do that because the sticker is on the front of it here still. So I think this definitely is not rewrapped. And I saw a sole comp back in March for, I believe, $16. So kind of like sticker value price. So, and I paid a uh, dollar for each of them and they both say 15. So I think we can cons conservatively get about $15 for each of them. From another yard sale i got this dazzle i'm pretty familiar with dazzle and the brand itself these actually used to be pretty famous for recording like old gameplay footage and stuff this actually has only composite cables so this would be great for anybody who wants to record anything with composite cables like maybe n64 Wii's, or whatever i looked up soul comps they're not really going for that much i think like maybe like nine to like fifteen dollars or something like that then i did see a brand new seal the men of honor blu-ray i know blu-rays are always just good to get and i got this for uh, I believe I think altogether I got it for two dollars for the dazzle and this and I saw soul comps for like eight or nine bucks so definitely not that bad and then I believe from one of the last yard sales we did go to we actually which was one of the best ones and it wasn't even included in the community yard sale is a HP pavilion laptop and a TI-83 plus calculator with the manual i actually just recently got one of these uh funny enough and it actually wasn't working but turns out with this one i put in new batteries clean it up a bit and uh yeah it works works just fine works as it should uh with the manual i think i can get about 35 dollars uh, from soul comps that i saw the hp pavilion la no this is is this hp pavilion yeah pavilion g6 you know 
right there. You guys can read it. It is in a little bit of rough condition. It, they definitely put a lot of use into it. So hopefully there's no like viruses or it's something's wrong with it. Um, if there's nothing wrong with it, I saw some soul comps going for like 70 to 90 and I do also need to buy a charger. I just recently got one. So, uh, hopefully this thing works and, uh, well, you know, it'll be pretty, you know, a pretty penny. And I paid, I think like $3 for the calculator and the laptop. So even if I have to sell this for parts, I think I'll still do okay with it. And that's it, man. Like I said, we went to a decent amount of yard sales and just, I wasn't seeing anything that day. Like I said, that's, you just have those days as a reseller and I've seen it from time to time from other people. So so hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch y'all next time. Take care, everybody.